everybody. I'm Hillary Atkin from the Atkin Report, and I am delighted to welcome writer and director Wyatt Rockefeller to this edition of Hillary's Happy Hour. Wyatt, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. You must be very excited about your new film, Settlers, being released by IFC Films. I, I'm over the moon. Yes, yeah, this is a dream come true. <laughs> Yeah, you're over the moon, and you are on Mars, yeah, along very with good. That was a good, <laughs> good <second. laughs> the characters of the film. But you're the writer and the director. So tell us how this story of a family of previous Earthlings um, landed on Mars, Riza, Ilsa, and their daughter, Remy. How did this story come about? Well. It, it started with a feeling, you know, I, it, and I just, I, the story kind of came to me all at once when I was in the woods with my dad this one time. And, and it just, one, when a story tells itself, that's a good sign. And it just hit me at a gut level, like, wow, that is dark. But it was when I then had the thought to set it on Mars, Mars as it may be one day when we have, we're in the process of changing it to be habitable. Uh, that it felt like okay this is a feature this this really has the thematic and visual richness to to merit people's time well you know mars is definitely a hostile planet and they say if there's life on mars there's also death on mars is that some of what risa possibly meant when he said that mars would soon someday be like earth well i i suppose there is some foreboding in that line i mean i think he like all of them and i think what propels all of them through this is is this hope this hope against hope in a way i mean even as their circum circumstances bleaking uh they are still finding a way to find hope for the future and i think that's i mean we've got to have that to to keep going and for for good or for bad, and and it, and it causes them to make some questionable choices. But uh, what else can you do? You got to survive and keep going. Well, the production design was really spectacular. So, where on our wonderful planet did you find a landscape that you envisioned would be like the one you wanted to portray on Mars? Sure. We so we found it. Uh, in South Africa, right up on the border with Namibia, in a very remote spot. It was seven hours from Cape Town. And yeah, it was not without its challenges. We uh, were fighting extreme heat, you know, in the 120 something degrees, uh, sandstorms, uh, a lightning storm and a deluge that almost destroyed the set in a place where it doesn't rain. <laughs> uh, and yet through that experience, we actually, even through the, those toughest days, I think we actually came together more as a cast and a crew and morale actually improved just because we were, we were in it together. Wyatt, this is your directorial feature debut. What were some of the other challenges you faced and, and what were some of your biggest joys in, in doing this? Well, I think the biggest, challenge you face as a first time director is just getting people to believe in you right they're all taking a big chance and not and not just the cast but the you know the, the everyone that is that is choosing to take this ride with you and and uh, and i think it only it's only a tough for sell when you when you're setting it on another planet i mean we we had to there was definitely a few moments on set i'm just like what was i thinking you know my first feature setting this on another planet you know will people even believe what they see, let alone buy into the story. And it has, it has been a relief, I'll say, to, to see that people are, are buying it. And, and you know, they, they, they are engaging with this world because uh, you know, we did just basically make it up. So, although we did, I will say, really try to adhere to what is at least plausible scientifically. So as well, much tell as we us really quickly about Steve, the robot. Sure. I, I mean, Steve was such a dream to design and, and really his design followed his function. That was that was the starting point. But it was a collaboration between puppeteers and the puppet builders and the VFX artists. 
uh, who basically handed, handed him back and forth and figured out how we're going to create a robot that fits within this world and really looks after Remy. The big question is, is Steve capable of human compassion or is he just a tool, as Jerry says? Well, everyone will just have to see your movie to find out. Wyatt, I want to propose a toast to you for the success of Settlers. Cheers. Cheers. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you for being with me. A pleasure.